morning uh, we're going to discuss installation of a side panel today on a big top shelter. Three quarter cover canopy with an open sidewall. And in this case we're going to assemble a 15 foot wide by 8 foot tall side panel. We have the side panel laid out at this point and it's going to to one bay of the structure. Now we first of all uh, start in this case with a structure that's already been installed and we're converting it from a three-quarter cover to a full cover. Now in new construction you would put the side panels on prior to installation of the main cover. So we're back at the side panel and the side panel comes with the top four-inch pocket and the bottom of the panel, you can locate it by having a seven inch pocket with a flap at the base. Okay, the flap is going to seal down below the ground slide that's on the structure. So on top of the four inch pocket, we insert the conduit full length. And then we make our slits vertically, okay, or perpendicular to the conduit. And that prevents this pocket from ever ripping out further. If you cut it horizontally, then it can allow that slit to continue down the pocket. So it's very important. You make your slit starting at the weld and then ending at the conduit. Okay, you don't, there's no need to sever the complete pocket. You want to keep the, the cut below the base of the conduit. Now, these buckle straps <coughs> When you insert them through and around the pipe, you go through both the rings, okay? And then you pull through, back through one D-ring or through the center of the D-rings to go tight. Now when you want to secure or tension on this strap, you can simply pull on the strap. And that cinches up the pocket to the attachment. You're ready to attach the panel to the structure. You have your slits pre-cut and you'll work yourself through the bottom and position these straps per your assembly manual. Alright, along the bottom of the panel, now I'm at the opposite end, we have the top of the panel with a four inch pocket and the straps. And we have the base of the panel with the seven inch pocket and pre-cut out uh, locations in the pocket from the factory. These cutouts correspond with the full pole or uh, tensioning tube that's in the kit. Now this tensioning kit has pre-drilled holes for our rods. The, the pipe will be inserted full length into the panel and then these will secure the panel and tension the material down to the base of the structure. And the structure has pre-cut a walk over to the base of the structure. It'll have pre-cut grooves so that we can secure the base of the structure. Now to insert these rods, 18 inch rods, into the base rail, it's difficult to set them in on any angle other than straight into the groove. So, if you notice that the base of the bolt has a square groove, if that's turned ever so slightly, it will not insert into the slot. The slot is pre-cut accurately enough that you must align the head of the bolt into the groove. That keeps this uh, panel from ever working its way out uh, in winds or uh, at a time where you don't want it to. You guys are going to give me a hand in attaching these panels into place. So first we're going to insert the tube.
you'll notice Fred is uh, turning the pipe as he's inserting and locating the stop when the holes are aligned. Okay. So Fred and Buck are going to go ahead and locate the panel into place next to the structure. So we're going to hoist the panel into place. Now an 8 foot panel will require a ladder to attach it unless you're superhuman and can dunk a basketball. So the straps being already in place allow him to reach the center. Now again we're going to attach the center first and that gives us a little flexibility to move left and right. Fred, go ahead and make this connection over here. Looks like we're a little short on this end down here. So we'll move it this way a little bit. Good. Okay. Making sure that we're aligned properly. Now before you do your final tensioning on these straps, you want to get everything in place left to right, top to bottom, and then make the attachments. So we're continuing on a strapping all the straps temporarily in place, and now we're ready to lace the sides and attach the base. So we'll demonstrate attaching one of the uh, rods into place. So you position the rod in the slot, One washer, one nut. On the first one, you'll have to align the, pit, the holes with the rod, and then all future ones will be aligned properly. I'm securing the nut and the washer, but proceeding that on the center section. And it's okay to allow those uh, bolts to run down to the base of the square tubing in the beginning. Be careful as you're, uh, and notice he's got a corner pretty far away from the, from the hole and the, and the bolt. Uh, the bolt is rough, and as it's coming through the hole, there's not a lot of clearance, so keep your fingers away as that bolt's sliding through or it'll, it'll pinch you. So continuing on, uh, after we assemble our rods on the bottom, we're going to lace the grommets to the vertical pipes. As you'll notice, uh, the guys will start at the top, secure the end of the tag end of the strap with a knot. And then we'll lace each grommet all the way down to the bottom. Well, sure. So as we prepare to tension down the nuts on the 18-inch all threads, we utilize a extension socket that we make. It's a 16-inch tube with a socket on each end, an impact driver on one end, and a 7 8 shallow well socket on the other end welded up. Now if you don't have this particular tool called an all thread tool in big top language, uh, you can use a dog bone or a flat ratchet or even an end wrench uh, to turn these, uh, these nuts down. But it's much handier, much simpler to use a cordless impact or a corded impact and uh, complete that task very quickly. So once we uh, assemble the, the uh, extension uh, all thread uh, driver on the corded impact or cordless impact. Turning that nut down and you see the uh, bolt chases up into place and at the end of the day we're going to have that bolt 
in the slot, perfectly aligned. And you don't really have to work on that, it does it by itself. And tensioning the panel down. So after we have the panel in place, oh, we're lacing it uh, side to side. And you'll notice that where we initially set the panel is not quite as high as the finished buckle straps on the sides. So we're going to go back and tension all of those buckle straps as Buck is about to demonstrate the finishing touches. We go back and we pull this panel up into place against the cover attachment tube. <laughs> The buckle straps are tensioned up into place. We secure the buckle straps with a finishing knot and secure those permanently. Each one of these, the tagline, will get finished up with a knot. And that keeps the buckle strap from having to do all the work the rest of its life. and work your way back out to the outside. side panels in place. And that's how you install a removable side panel on a big top structure. So now it's time to roll up or remove the side panel. The reverse is true. We're going to detach the lacing on the sides. We're going to detach the bottom all threads. Now you can either roll this panel up or you can roll the panel down and secure it. Your choice, there's no wrong answer. Uh, when you roll it up, it's secured up and out of uh, people's ability to touch them. If you roll them down, uh, occasionally they'll pocket water along the base, so we prefer to go up with the panel, but uh, it's really your choice of the application. Or you can completely remove the side panel and store it in the warehouse. There are some parts that are coming out. The lacing strap uh, is removed now. And the lacing strap is Reversing the process with the all threads on the bottom. Now the benefit to rolling the panel down is that you can just remove, uh, you can leave the uh, all threads attached. It doesn't take any more hardware. little straps. Uh, we're going to go up with the panel, so Buck is choosing to uh, tie some straps that will secure the panel in the up position once it's up. 
Now you can do the same thing if your uh, buckle straps are long enough. You can just roll around the whole thing and then secure it in the up position. Uh, but in this case, we're going to tie some long straps on and secure the panel uh, with these longer straps. So you can tie that uh, once or twice around the all thread and that keeps it from uh, moving from side to side or getting longer in one area. Uh, what I like to do is secure this strap one time around and she won't go anywhere. Alright, we're ready to roll it up. Now you can push out all at the same time, push out toward the outside of the structure, and that keeps the roll moving together. Push on out. There you go. You can get out there and get at a good spot to roll free and clear. The panel gets a little larger at the truss, so as you push out a little bit as it's rolling up, it keeps it away from everything that wants to stay attached. So now securing the panel in the up position with our tie straps. If you want to go a little higher, you can by just pushing out a little bit. Okay. And that will secure it up into place. Inside, so any water that drips off the panel doesn't collect in the panel and, and cause mildew or mold. Um, in this particular case, this panel gets screwed down every truss uh, on the main flap, or it gets trimmed the full length uh, so that you don't have this top panel flapping. Once you add side pockets, the outside exterior flap will uh, the building will create pressure on the inside. That pressure tries to leave underneath this flap, so we have to trim that down when it's complete. Otherwise, in this case, we're going to remove this little test panel and uh, we're not going to screw down the, the side flap so that we can relocate it from place to place to place. Uh, anything that you screw down obviously doesn't want to uh, be moved at a little So that's our display of the side panel, removable side panel. Now, if you indeed want to store these pieces, you can do that. Make sure that you secure your your all threads when you're finished, your bolts and nuts and washers, and then the uh, the, the uh, straps for later use.